How's it going guys? My name is Graham and welcome to Goodbye My King, a game that people have been comparing to Hello Neighbor. I've actually never played that or seen videos on it or anything, so unfortunately I can't appreciate the comparison, but that's what I have to go off of here. Is he just toiling his time away as king? He seems like a pretty alright king. Why does this guy hate the king so much? From the screenshots, I thought he actually was the king. <laughs> His dastardly plan is just crowned from him to him. Oh, so this was the, the handsome king, was the old king, and now the cruel judge-looking guy is the new king. He usurped the throne, but not by killing the king, by just kicking him out of the throne? I didn't know it was so easy to take over a kingdom. Okay, so now, now the actual game. Find a fragment of the gem in the royal chambers. I mean, I would consider the royal chambers to be the toilet. But I guess that's just me. Great, great picture. I guess I'll just hang on to that. Well, I just want to look around at like the frogs and the mushrooms and the, the gems. I just want to take a look at the nice stuff outside before I go into the castle. Like, look at this. Good thing I was looking around. I found a different gem. I don't know if we really need this other one anymore. Can I climb up on this hay bale and into this tube? You could probably, like, Spider-Man your way up there. Gotta go find, like, a, a secret entrance. Maybe if I just take a look upstairs here. It won't even let me climb the stairs. It's gonna be a joke, because there's actually no other levels to that building. Couldn't even climb the stairs. Do I just walk through the front door? That seems unwise. People are bound to notice if the old king is paying a visit. Oh, I was clicking on it. E is perform actions. Wow, this was awfully easy to break into. Oh, shit. I just knocked something over. Oh, I'm definitely supposed to be sneaking. I didn't I didn't know that's what I was trying to do here. I thought I was just like carrying out tasks. Well, I don't know which chambers are the royal chambers. Where am I supposed to start looking? I have nothing to go off of here. Is this like, I don't know, torture devices or something in the back here? Might also just be a, a weird looking set of shelves. Now I'm lost in this room. That's Great. Seriously, how do I get out of this room? Ah, oh. hey, <laughs> it's locked, and then there's like a little keypad next to it. Sixty-nine, sixty-nine, sixty-six. I'll just leave it at that. It appears to be incorrect. Every time I try to leave this fucking room, oh, there we go. I finally found the exit. It's embarrassing how long I was stuck in there. Something sparkling up here. This has got to be where I need to go, right? Uh, it's just shoddy medieval wiring. I can't even activate whatever that is. Can't go there either. Okay, unlocking the doors. Not a lot of different places I can go. I don't know how scared I need to be. Like, if I lose, is there just going to be a jump scare? There's not a lot of useful things in this castle. I just keep finding doodles that like a six-year-old did. Hiding in the closet, that's how you get away from the king. So that makes me suspicious that the king is gonna probably try and like run and murder me if I make too much noise. What is all this? I just found a chest full of money. I want the money. There's a tiny bit of music and I'm a little bit scared. Oh, is this the throne? Or is this just like the dining hall throne? It's not the big full throne. Like if I just sit down at here and he sits down at the other throne, he wins, right? It's like it's like a jack versus a queen in a in a deck of cards. His throne would outrank mine. At best I'd be like vice king. Second in King Mand. Oh, okay, so when I get upstairs, it's in his drawer, and then I get to just leap out the window to get away. I guess I gotta go upstairs. All this is just about like finding hints, it seems like. Well, the only upstairs I've gone is over there, and that's where that door is that I can't get through. So, maybe it's not so simple. I could have sworn I saw another set taking me upstairs. Oh, I'm getting creepy music again. Now I'm in some kind of back back room. I feel like I just kept going through doors here. I don't really know where to start with this uh, electrical business upstairs there. I didn't really find, like, a pile of wires and electrical tape anywhere. I think my only option is to continue to guess this code. Eventually I'll get it right. I'm just banging all over the place and somehow I've still only knocked over one thing. 
I obviously don't play enough horror games because I can't figure out like what I'm supposed to be doing. Password 36584. Finally found something useful. And enter. There's one piece of the pie. Oh fuck, what the shit? Oh. I wasn't prepared for a jump scare, god damn it. What did I do wrong? I mean, I just bumped that one thing that one time. And suddenly he, he caught me? What, what, what the fuck should I have done? God, that was startling. Oh, fuck me, I gotta re-remember where the hell he kept that note. Maybe the game was kind enough that I get to keep the password. That'd be surprising, that's never how these games work. Oh shit, that room just stays open? Oh fuck, well what do I do now? He likes to look at the night sky? Is that what that means? I think it's night right now. So hopefully that's to my benefit. Oh shit, there he is. What happens if I run at him? I just fuck it, I just want to see. Oh, he just bashed me. He looked kind of spooky there for a second with all the shadows on his face. Turns out he was kind of just a regular guy. Thought he was gonna like Bilbo Baggins me from fucking Fellowship of the Ring or Two Towers. I don't remember which Lord of the Rings movie that happens in. Well, now I know he's just a regular king. But if he ever sneaks up on me and runs straight at me, then I'm kind of fucked. If he comes barreling down at me like that unexpectedly again, I'm probably still gonna jump and scream. I think I had a pretty aggressive jump there a minute ago. He scared the fuck out of me. I didn't know that's what kind of game this was. I didn't think he would just be patrolling around the castle here. I thought he would, like, show up at specific times. Aw, oh, damn it. I'm probably supposed to run from him, aren't I? Hey, stop that. Go sit down. Sit down quickly. And go back outside. What the shit? I just walked in here. That's bullshit. I certainly should remind someone to lock the doors for me. I'm much too important and rich to lock them myself, so I'll just make sure to delegate that job. What is this bullshit? He just stays in the exact same spot? Well, fuck, I guess I gotta, like, try to get into the castle a different way then? Either I'm playing as different characters or the king actually isn't killing me. There's no explanation for why I keep getting to come back. That still startled me because he was, I was expecting him to be a few feet away from the door, not half an inch. I can't believe I jumped a little there. Yeah, but if he's not killing me, I don't really know what his deal is because he's not really getting rid of me. I'm going to try and run past him. <laughs> that kind of worked. But I don't know the layout of this fucking place and it's his castle. No, no, no. Close, close, close. Ah, uh, shit. What if I just run away again? Oh, I hate it. But now he should be elsewhere in the castle, right? Like, he won't just be standing right by the door. I let him away, at least. Okay, good. Now I have time to try and look elsewhere. Why the fuck was it starting to play sounds like little kids laughing when he was catching up to me? Shouldn't I be trying to steal his crown? Or maybe just killing him? Or am I trying to steal his special gem? And while he's just up and walking around, I should probably just go sit on the throne. Apparently everyone in this fucking city is just like on board with that. That means you're the king! Oh, I didn't see him there. It was so dark. Fucking game. Well, I don't know what to do. I got all this to help me, but it doesn't really help me. Doesn't explain how to open any of these fucking doors. Oh, he's right fucking there. Oh my god, what is with this guy? Take a night off. How did I go like 10 minutes without seeing him at the start, and now I can't go two inches without seeing the guy? Oh, scrolls. Finally, I found scrolls. Oh, I see. <laughs> the scrolls seemed important to me. Oh, can I unlock anything with a key now? Oh, wait. It kind of seems like I'm just opening up escape routes. It's not really what I was looking for. This is a new room though, I think. Uh, I don't know, I can open this now though. Is that just a connecting room? Uh, maybe it's just to make it so that you can get between those easier. I can't see fucking anything. Man, I don't think I was supposed to be playing with that darkness mode. It's a lot easier to deal with things now. Oh, I found a closet that I can hide in. Oh, God, he's right there. Look how easy it is to see things now. That was not what I was meant to be doing. Ah, oh, fuck. Fucking sneaky Pete. I thought I was climbing into a wardrobe. I feel 
like I've opened everything. Now that I can actually see, maybe I can find something. Oh, what's this? Rope. Perfect. Love me some rope. You really gotta look on every desk and at every little corner and every little drawer. Good thing he's an inattentive fuck. Ah, nuts. I forget how to get to that wardrobe I found. Oh, it's here, isn't it? Maybe I could actually hide. Oh, he got to me. Shit. I've never seen anything on Hello Neighbors, so I don't know how these two games compare, but this really isn't my kind of game. It feels, it feels a little too stressful for me. What the fuck? That's how I fix that? That was the easiest repair job of all time. I didn't realize that's how easy it was going to be. Oh, treasure. But I also think this is where I'm supposed to be grabbing the gem from. Oh, I did it! What was with unlocking all the doors and everything? And I could just hop out the window? That was the easiest heist of my life! Oh, that's just one level. <laughs> oh my fuck, look at that sun! <laughs> He's kind of bashful, he's hiding behind the clouds there. I bet the sun got a big old dick. This makes more sense now. I, I didn't think there would be levels. Oh, he knows how to lock his door now, huh? Lock it at day, leave it open at night. Weird policy. You probably just learned from getting robbed. Now this is more interesting. Things are going to start changing. It, it makes a lot more sense. I can comprehend now how people can have like a 30 part series of Hello Neighbor. Well, trying to open it like a hundred times doesn't work thought maybe it would be hidden in the haystack. The key that I assume I'm looking for, that is. Well, fuck, I don't know how this works. I don't know, it's interesting having like slightly changing levels of uh, a horror game, but the fact that it was so hard for me to find things like the rope was super frustrating, it was like the same color as the shelf, and like 20 minutes of looking around to find one thing isn't the most fun in my eyes. And now I'm doing the same thing, I'm doing laps of the house, just looking at things, just looking at things top to bottom. I think I prefer point and click games where there's little hints and you get a, a sense of an idea of what you might have to do. Just these, these random hunting ones aren't really my favorite. So that's probably all I'm going to do with this game. I'm going to go look over here first though, because this is kind of weird. There's like a sleeping baby in the clouds on this side. So we got the sun over there and weird sleepy baby over here. What do you think he's reaching for? Probably the sun's big dick. And we got a big rooster in the sky over there. I don't know what the fuck any of this is. But fuck you, King. As far as I'm concerned, I got your gem. And I ran away with it. And I see no need to return for a second heist. So let me just get back into my interdimensional time portal toilet. And I'll see you guys again next time.